Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Ja, und damit herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Cat Lady. Äh, ich habe mich mal ein bisschen größer gemacht und mein Bild ist etwas verzerrt, habe ich gemerkt. Also ich bin irgendwie so in die Breite gezogen. Das liegt wahrscheinlich am Spielbild, nur dass ihr euch nicht wundert. Habe es aber trotzdem mal ein bisschen größer gemacht. Ich hoffe, ich bin nicht zu groß. Da sind wir wieder in The Cat Lady. Diesmal bin ich ungeschminkt und es geht ganz normal mit mir weiter. Allerdings äh, sind wir jetzt in Kapitel 2 und ähm, ja, irgendwie liegt unsere Frau da als Patientin und irgendwie sehen wir uns, glaube ich, wieder gerade selber oder sie sieht sich selber und wir sollen jetzt sagen, wie wir heißen, heißen wir Susan, Susan Ashworth, ich kann mich nicht erinnern und ignorieren, ich weiß jetzt nicht, ob ich das zuletzt ähm, schon beantwortet hatte, aber ähm, ich musste noch ein bisschen nachspielen wieder, weil ich nicht zwischengespeichert hatte und deswegen sage ich jetzt einfach mal Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Hello Mrs. Ashworth, I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Mm. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Aber sie ist jetzt noch Please, mal selber. don't try to speak. Okay. What did you say? Nicht. Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Aber die Frau, die da steht, sieht halt genauso aus wie Would you like me to get you some water? Okay, das ist eine andere. Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Also es sind doch nur wir. Ich dachte jetzt, die Schwester wäre auch, wären auch wir. <lacht> und zuletzt wurde uns der Arm abgerissen durch eine Maschine. Deswegen auch die Blutspuren und ja, herrlich, herrlich, herrlich war das. Okay. Ich bin echt gespannt, was als nächstes passiert, weil das Spiel irgendwie so ein bisschen schockerartig äh, rüberkam. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. Liz, okay. Hi. Hi, Liz. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Mm, damit jemanden als Patient, der gerade da eingeliefert wurde, Tell voll you zu quatschen, Susan. ist auch nett. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but you know I'm going to anyway. You are ja. so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Alter, quatsch mich nicht voll, ich lieg im Bett rum und you can prove it. Fine. I'll give you a second chance. You've got the blood pressure of an 18 year old. Ja, schön. Just wanted to say you're lucky. I think. And that I hope okay. you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go. But I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? Mm -hmm. Tschüss. Schönen Tag noch. Wir sind schon depressiv genug. Und sie schreitet wieder so langsam. Es war übrigens total ruckelfrei. Ähm, bevor ich aufnahm. Also irgendwie liegt es an der Aufnahme und das ist schon ein anderes Programm, was ich sonst benutze und ich habe keine Ahnung, woran es liegt. Vielleicht müsste ich die Fraps-Zahl irgendwie um... Fraps-Zahl sage ich schon. Doch, die... Doch, doch die FPS-Zahl einfach mal ändern. Vielleicht würde es mit diesem Spiel dann besser irgendwie laufen. Ich weiß es nicht, weil das Ding braucht wahrscheinlich nicht viel FPS und ich habe es halt voll hochgeschraubt. Aber keine Ahnung, ob es daran liegt. Hm. Ich weiß nur, dass ich immer nicht viel machen kann. Ich warte einfach mal ab, was jetzt passiert. Okay, die... Ja, okay. 
Okay. Bam. Schön das Licht in... Ja, ist okay. Ich verbrutzel einfach mal. Einfach mal ein bisschen überstrahlt. <lacht> Schöner Krankenhausaufhalt. Unsere Susan muss ganz schön viel durchmachen, ne? Ach ja, schön. Ew. Bad Dream. Ach, sie hat nur geträumt. Nein, nur ein Traum wie jeder andere. Ja, ein wirklich schlimmer. Ignorieren. Ja, ein wirklich schlimmer. Ja, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What ja. was it about? Toll. Ich wurde lebendig verbrannt. Ich kann mich nicht erinnern, das geht sie nichts an. Ich wurde lebendig verbrannt. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. Ach, wie schön. There was this woman on the emergency unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 liters of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames. And so did, so did she. she. Was? Heftig. That's just me and my big gob. Nein, nicht wirklich. I never know when to shut Aber up. du erzählst es mir It's trotzdem. Like isn't it? Wie war wie war noch gleich ihr Name? Liz. Sie hieß Liz, die vollnüllende Krankenschwester. Was ist mit mir geschehen? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... Plötzlich war ich auf einem Gerstenfeld. Ich bin hier aufgewacht und sah sie. Doch, wir waren, glaube ich, auf einem Gerstenfeld. All of a sudden, I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt happy. I was free. But it soon got worse. Ja. There was this tunnel. But oh, there was no Teufel light kam. at the end of it. Only darkness. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my dead body hanged on the tree. A burning car. And a crow. And a deer. I heard something behind the trees. But I didn't dare to look. Then I found the house. The old woman who lived there, I think she was death. Or maybe she was the devil, I'm not sure. She said they call her the Queen of Maggots. She said I should go back, gave me another chance. And so, here I am. Here I am. Weird dream, eh? Maybe it wasn't a dream. I really believe in that sort of stuff. It's not impossible. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Just a dream. Can you just now tell dream. me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She Ach. called an ambulance. We have If it wasn't daughter? for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? Hmm. I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied. It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Na ja, gut gehen. Sich umbringen. Sorry. Wie lange bin ich schon hier? Wann werden Sie mich nach Hause gehen lassen? When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Hm. Look, 
I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. Dr. He's a X. chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Ähm... Also... Von mir aus ja, aber ich weiß nicht, wie die Susan das findet. Wie lange bin ich schon hier? Erzählen Sie mir, mir mehr über diesen Dr. X-Faktor. Haben Sie diese... meine Tochter gesehen? Erzählen Sie mehr über sich. Ähm... Pff, erzählen Sie mir mehr über diesen Dr. X. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. Yeah, mach das. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Mm, toll. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't no, care. Oh, no, as so long as they're wearing a skirt. Super. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Ja, dann geh mal zu Dr. Well, X. She left, and I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet you'll be more careful now. Mm-hmm. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Don't laugh, okay? Ich dachte, das wäre schon schlecht genug. What a weird smell. Ugh. What do you mean? Dr. Stinky. He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Ugh, or maybe it's something else. Oder so. Madenfresser. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. Voll I don't exactly hide so. things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about. And we haven't even started those sessions yet. Toll. So, be prepared for that. Oof. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Ja, jetzt sehen Sie mehr über Dr. Hatten wir schon. Dr. Stinky, haben Sie diese meine Tochter gesehen? Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry Susan. Apparently she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Hmm. Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar, attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Jo. Hmm. Erzählen Sie mehr über Sie. Ich bin müde. Lassen Sie mich jetzt schlafen. Ich frage noch mal, wie lange ich hier bin und dann das äh, mehr über Sie. Blablabla. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at seven in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. Oh. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. Oh. 
Okay. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here oh, toll. want to die. It's Dafür a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Okay. Gut, erzählen Sie mir noch mal mehr über sich und dann lass mich in Ruhe. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse, not some man's fantasy of one. Yeah, Frau I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, mm. I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. Mhm. Mm He didn't like me that much either. Oh. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days he On chose Valentine's that one, eh? schön. He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Ach, Männer sind so scheiße. Erzählen Sie mehr über diesen Doktor. Hatten wir schon? Kann man da jetzt noch mehr über den erfahren, oder was? Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. Hatten wir doch schon. He comes on the ward often. I personally really like him. I don't know. All that, but he What okay. Oh, yeah. Nurse oh. one good stupid. Well, no, Doctor. I oh, better must nicht lachen. Ich habe was noch. Er stinkt nämlich but nach Maden und so. Okay, es wiederholt sich. Jetzt wissen wir das, ja? What do you... Oh. Now I'll tell you the start. Re and we have any... So... Sure, I think... So, ich bin müde, lass mich schlafen. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Ciao. Be careful who you trust Lizzie. here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? Gar nicht. You don't. Sag ich doch. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Das ist genauso aus Maybe wie not. Sie. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Stimmt. Haben wir jetzt wieder einen Albtraum? Zack, sind wir wieder bei Dr. X. Hi. We'll start with a little chat about your child. Okay, bin bereit. I want you to be as honest as Ooh. possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. Dr. X. Ich werde jetzt hier nebenbei aber erstmal speichern, weil es wieder voll... Äh lange gedauert hat hier mit dem Gesappel. Hier. So, gespeichert. So, Spiel erfolgreich gespeichert. Dr. X. Bereit zu sprechen. Lieber, weiß ich nicht, kann ich nicht sehen wegen meinem Bild. Lieber warten. Können wir denn irgendwas anderes machen? Ja, dann sprechen wir. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Was hat denn jetzt der Papa damit zu tun? Ja, ich hatte einen tollen Vater. Nein, er war mir kein guter Vater. Ich wuchs ohne Vater auf. Oh, jetzt dürfen wir uns äh, Antworten überlegen. Das ist jetzt äh, spannend und schwierig, weil natürlich, wenn sie sagt, äh, dass sie keinen guten Vater hatte, dann ähm, wird er die Probleme darauf vielleicht zurückführen. Wenn sie sagt, 
sie hat einen tollen Vater, dann wird er wahrscheinlich nach der Mutter fragen. Und wenn sie sagt, ich hatte gar keinen Vater, dann denkt er, ihr hat was gefehlt im Leben oder so. Mhm. Ähm, sagen wir mal, sie wuchs ohne Vater auf. I was brought up without a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He... Er starb bei einem Unfall, verließ uns, als ich klein war, brachte sich selbst um. Sagen wir, er verließ sie, als sie noch klein war. Left when I was little. One night he just packed his suitcase and left. I was about eight at the time. He didn't say goodbye. Didn't even look at me. I remember watching him walk away. It was winter. Getting dark early. He just disappeared into the night. And I never saw him again. Oh. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Ich hatte eine wunderbare Mutter. Sie war eine grauenhafte Mutter. Ich verlor sie, als, sie noch ein, als ich noch ein Kind war. Sagen wir mal diesmal, dass sie die Mutter hatte. Aber... Hm. War es eine gute Mama oder war es eine schlechte Mama? Ich meine, man kann sich dadurch natürlich selber gerade die Antworten legen, warum die Susan vielleicht auch ein bisschen depressiv ist. Wenn sie jetzt eine grauenhafte Mutter noch war, dann war sie natürlich auf sich alleine gestellt. Dann kennt sie das eh. Wenn sie eine wunderbare Mutter hatte, dann weiß sie jetzt zumindest, was es heißt, Liebe und Stabilität in ihrem Leben gehabt zu haben. Da bin ich eigentlich eher gespannt, was dann der Doktor so draus macht. Also sagen wir mal, sie hatte eine wunderbare Mutter. So, dann. I can't complain. My mom was great. She did her best to make up for the loss of my father. Me and her, we were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. Her forever broken heart finally gave up. But she did give me a wonderful childhood, despite everything that happened. I will always love her for that. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Haben wir denn jetzt auf einmal diesen Gürtel her? Da ist ein Gürtel. Wo I need to get her? out of this place. Oh, I hate flüchten. hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Ja, aber du kannst sie einfach abhauen. Das geht leider nicht. Namens. Ach so, es ist unser Namens. Es sieht aus wie ein Gürtel. <lacht> so, Gürtel geklaut von Stinky oder jemand anderem, dachte ich jetzt. Okay, ähm, ich würde sagen, wir machen hier einfach mal einen Cut an der Stelle. Interessanter zweiter Part für The Cat Lady. Bin gespannt, was weiterhin passiert. Ich hoffe, ihr auch. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Part. Ich hoffe, ihr seid dabei. Hinterlasst mir positives Feedback. Bis dann. Tschüss.